good morning students welcome to engineering drawing tutorial course code u18 mv204 i am b rakesh assistant professor in department of mechanical engineering kids varangal in this video lecture we will discussing about one problem in projections of points the exercise 9 uh, i have taken uh, this problem from engineering drawing by andy but textbook the page number is 192 uh, let us see the problem number 1 draw the projection of the following points on the same ground line keeping the points 25 mm apart uh, just uh, two to just uh, one let us see uh, let us see the points in different coordinates already discussed in the classroom here uh, this is the horizontal plane this is the vertical plane the universal space is divided into four coordinates this is the first coordinate this is the second coordinate this is the third coordinate this is the fourth coordinate for example the point in first coordinate uh, let us see how to define this point in first coordinate that means above HP and in front of VP when the point is above HP and in front of VP the point lies in first coordinate similarly the point in second coordinate that means the point is above hp and behind vp similarly the point in third coordinate uh, the point is below hp and the point is behind vp in this situation uh, we are calling as the point in third coordinate similarly the point in fourth coordinate we are defining as the point the point is below HP and in front of VP that is the fourth coordinate uh, by using this basic knowledge uh, we will going to draw the uh, given problem let us see the first, first point A point A in the HP and 20 mm behind VP that means the point in the HP so you can take point here or here uh, the point may be first coordinate or second coordinate how to decide uh, the given point is first coordinate or second coordinate that is depending upon the next sentence that is 20 mm behind VP 20 mm behind VP means the point must and should be in first second coordinate not first coordinate depending upon the complete sentence you can decide the point in the second coordinate uh, you can see the point A, this is the A point observed always like uh, in front of first coordinate when observed seeing from this side this front view front view projection falls on uh, this reference line that means x y line and top view falls on horizontal plane that means when you are rotating horizontal plane in 90 degrees clockwise direction the point goes to above the x y line this is the a point top view point this is the a dash point first draw the x y line locate the point that is a dash front view on x y line top view will goes to above the x y line draw the projector line uh, measure 20 mm and locate the point that is a point top view point here we are uh, representing front view with uh, primes that means a a prime b prime c prime etc 
similarly to of you we are representing with uh, without plan a comma b comma c etc now give the dimension that is 20 mm here one condition is there uh, keeping the projections 25 mm mm apart so you can keep 25 mm distance from a project projector uh let us uh, see the uh, second problem the second problem is uh, b in b 40 mm above hp and 25 mm in front of bp okay now i am erasing this uh, entire sketch Again, I am going to uh, draw same coordinates. Uh, this is the horizontal plane, and this is the vertical plane. The second point is B 40 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of HP. Uh, here you can see this is the first coordinate. Here I am taking uh, one point that is chalk uh, piece. Uh, 40 mm. above hp and 25 mm in front of vp that means the given point is first coordinate when you see from uh, this side this front view fall projection falls on vertical plane and top view point falls on horizontal plane now rotate this horizontal plane in 90 degrees clockwise direction the point goes to below x y line you can see here Uh, this is the point b 20 40 mm above hp and uh, 25 mm in front of vp that means uh, this height is 40 mm and uh, this uh, width is 25 mm in front of vp the front view projection falls on vertical plane and top view projection falls on horizontal plane this is the b dash point this is the b point now rotate uh, horizontal plane in 90 degrees clockwise direction the point goes to below x y line this is the b point now draw the same thing on this the uh, same reference line 40 mm above hp the point name is b dash 25 mm in front of the vp <coughs> give the dimension on the same line this is the 25 mm in front of it you can observe here a uh, both projection that means front view and top view both are in same vertical line this is a very very important point here b dash and here b now keep 25 mm apart thus uh, let us see a third point here the uh, third point is uh, c in the vp and 40 mm above the hp again draw the horizontal plane and vertical plane c in the vp and 40 mm above the hp c in the vp means the point uh, 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 you can take point here or here but the another statement is 40 mm above the hp so you can take in the first coordinate 40 mm above the hp and in the vp this is the point c when you are seeing from this side the front view projection Uh, falls on vertical plane and top view 
projection falls on this reference line that means x y line this is the c dash and this is the c this is a c point and this is the c dash point the dimension is 40 ma above just you can uh, blindly you can remember that uh, the point is above hp or below hp just you can first you need to identify uh, that is above hp or below hp that gives uh, front view points the next point is d is 25 mm below the hp and 25 mm behind the vp below and behind means uh, the point lies in third coordinate <coughs> 25 mm below and 25 mm behind that means this point d the point lies in third coordinate when you seen from this side observer always in the in front of first coordinate the front view projection falls on vertical plane this is the d dash and the top view projection falls on horizontal plane this is the d when you are rotating horizontal plane in 90 degrees clockwise direction the point goes to above the x y line this is the d point uh, first you need to identify the uh, below projection that is 25 mm below the hp that is d dash and 25 mm behind the vp that is that is above xy you can uh, observe that uh, first coordinate is first coordinate projections always opposite to third coordinate projections uh, you can observe here in the second point b and d here front view is above x y line top view is below x y line in the third coordinate front view is below x y line and top view is above x y line let us see the uh, next point e 15 mm above the hp and 50 mm behind the vp above behind means the point is second coordinate Fifteen mm above the HP and fifty mm behind the VP. Fifteen mm above the HP and fifty mm behind the VP. So front view projection falls on vertical plane. This is the E point, E dash, and top view projection falls on vertical horizontal plane. This is the E. Uh, now rotate horizontal plane in ninety degrees clockwise direction. The point goes to above x y line. This is the E. Now we can represent on same x y line. 15 mm above the HP. That is E dash point. 50 mm behind the VP. That is top view point. That is also above the x y line. In the second coordinate, both front view and top view are above the x y line. Uh, here you can uh, take the distance from uh, x y line not from a dash point this is very very important this is the 50 mm the next point f 40 mm below the hp and 25 mm in print of ap just you can read the st uh, statement and uh, identify the coordinate uh, just you can see here this is the horizontal plane this is the vertical plane the point f 40 mm below the hp and 25 mm in print of vp so you can identify that uh, the point is fourth coordinate that is 40 mm below the hp and 25 mm in front of vp the observer always in the in front of first coordinate when observer seen from this side the projection front view projection falls on uh, this part vertical plane and top view projection falls on horizontal plane when you are rotating horizontal plane in 90 degrees clockwise direction the point uh, goes to below the x y line this is the f point now same thing you you can construct on same x y line 40 mm below the hp that is uh, f dash 25 mm in print of vp Uh, you can take the distance from x y line not not from f dash point the last point is 
point G in both HP and VP. That means both HP and VP means the point on uh, intersection of horizontal plane and vertical planes, similarly called as principal plane. So you can uh, both front view and top view projections are coincide. That is G dash and G. You can represent with uh, G comma G dash or you can represent a G, G of G dash. Both are same. You can represent with G of G dash or G comma G dash. <coughs> you can see this is the G point. Both HP and VP that means coincidence of horizontal plane and vertical plane. So front view on the same point and top view also same point. So both are coincident. I hope this is very clear to everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates.